But I know like to be no, 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 no. I like papaya, but I got to be Hi, this is Craig and Celeste with Socata Grove, and today we're going to be eating these avus. Uh, these came from John Painter's place. Uh, off two different trees. Uh, this is one that always produces big fruit. I think so, but it's not as productive. And this said. is a heavy producer, but smaller fruit. Usually smaller um, than this. I think usually smaller. This was a pretty big one, he said. So anyway, we're going to give them a try. And uh, Celeste has never had avu, so I've only had them once before. And that was at Ray Jones. And that was Ray Jones's house before he passed away. So I don't really remember too much other than that they were really good. Do we need a spoon? Um, I don't know. I don't even know how to eat it, Abby. Well, you don't eat the seeds. I'm going to cut it like it was a mango. I think you can't go wrong with that. I just didn't expect this texture at all. Um, what is that? There's like a, a gelatinous thing I've eaten. Pumpkin. Maybe. Tastes that's a pumpkin-y, raw pumpkin-y aftertaste. It's a fruit or something I have that has this kind of texture in it. What is that? Yeah, you. No. Oh, a caimito. Caimitos, the well, rear related. part, that's what this reminds me of. Um, yeah, somewhere between, a little bit lychee flavor to me too. Floral. But, yeah, floral, a hint of caramel. All right, let's try this other one and see if it's any different. It's very different. It yeah. has a little bit of a coffee flavor. Oh, well, yeah. There's this initial upfront. Have you ever coffee. had the coffee flesh of a coffee fruit? No. Mm -mm. Tastes a little bit like that. Um, it's hard to describe. It's like hints of caramel and coffee and apple. Maybe a little bit of mango steam and caimito. Salted caramel. Mm-hmm. It's almost like Yeah, there's a lot of this and this does not remind me of what I remembered Ray Jones's of you tasting like at all. Um, but again, that was a long time ago. I don't really remember what it tasted like other than I remember saying how good it was. Um, very difficult to describe. It's good. Yeah, it's really unique. It's very juicy. It, it's texture is, you know, it's got, the, the aftertaste is kind of rolling around and it's like really caramel coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and, and, and like licorice jelly bean aftertaste a little bit. Um, oh, it is like a jelly bean. It's like one of the jelly bellies. Uh -huh. I think it's a brown one. There is a coffee like yeah, one. Yeah, maybe it's like a coffee jelly bean a little bit. But not the, the we, no. don't, we don't eat the, we pick those out. Yeah, but it's but like this, just this essence of it. In yeah, it's, it's kind of the same aftertaste, even though yeah. it was the first upfront taste wasn't there. You know, the first one to me has more of a pumpkin-y tone to it. It tastes more like caimito to me. You know, but most people probably haven't eaten Our caimito. Strapple. That's what it takes. That first one tastes so much like that. Like a caramely caramito. Yeah, that's, again, I don't remember them tasting like this. Because um, this is hard to describe. So, yeah, the flavors in there, again, we're going to go back to what we know, which is Jelly Bellies. Um, cream soda. 
and toasted marshmallow with a little coffee. jelly bellies with a coffee. If you took, all right, well, is one of going to be the recipes for Abby you on the back of the jelly belly bag. <laughs> um, cream soda, toasted marshmallow, one half coffee, coffee and half a coffee yeah. or two or three of the other ones. Um, what else? Maybe a little something. And like a car is there a caramel one? A caramel jelly bean? I don't know. You might put a little drop of salted caramel in there. There's something like that. But yeah, so you could get this. You can if you can't find an Abbey, uh, you can put together enough jelly bellies to, to get the same experience there. Without the texture. Without the You'd texture miss out or the on juiciness. A really nice texture. Um, so but it does. It tastes it tastes like a mouthful of, of jelly belly jelly beans. It's strange. Um but good. It's um, it's more of an experience than a right. flavor. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's There's like, no tartness at all. No, no tartness. It's it's mostly um, gelatinous. Isn't the right word. It's 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 juicier than that. But it's yeah. But there's gelatinous parts in yeah. it, like the caimento has, like that. Well, a little bit, like kind of by the caliche. Um, but it's it's softer than a lychee. It doesn't mm -hmm. have that any bite to it at all. But um, yeah, I mean that's definitely a, the downside. Is abus are very hard to grow. Um, they're very finicky plants. They're hard to get size on them. The grafted ones, especially. Grafted ones. They're hard to graft. It's hard to get the grafts to take. I did get. I had a grafted uh, one of the one I had from Ray Jones that. Um, I babied that thing for like two years and it just never grew and never grew and finally died. Um, I might plant these seeds out uh, for sure just to kind of see what happens with them, but um, but they are difficult trees to grow. But if you can get hold of the fruit, uh, give them a try because it's it's very uh, it's worthwhile. Yeah. Um, again, these came from uh, uh, John Painter's place down on Pine Island, and um, they're very they're very different. They have very different flavors to them. Um, but they're both good in a different way. So yeah. Anyway, so that's really Abbey. Um, look at what. Really unique. Yeah, unique really unique great. flavor. And and again, I'm still finding new ones. I feel <laughs> like I ate a, a coffee jelly bean. I feel like five I had a handful ago. of tan to dark brown jelly beans all in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's just there's a lot of stuff going on there. So, but it all very good. So. Yeah. So if you get a chance, uh, give them a try. I think you'll like them. That's it for this one. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.